Praise God, praise God, VOM 2020, December the 5th. This is a very unique day. Number five represents grace, and His grace is sufficient, for His strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. You're welcome once again to this unique day with unique blessings, unique opportunities. The Lord has good plans for you. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We bless the name of the Lord this episode 100 of VOM. It's a very, very special day. And so I want you to be expectant. Also, the Lord has a beautiful nugget for us as we withdraw from our mercy accounts. And that nugget is telling us, that mercy enables us to subdue our adversaries in the face of opposition and dispossess them and possess our inheritance. And this can be seen in the book of Esther chapter 6, where King Ahasuerus was able to establish Mordecai in his original position. Mordecai had revealed the secret of two of his maid servants that had planned to kill him. But he forgot about that. It was written on his account. And instead of Mordecai, Haman came to the position. But by the mercies of God, at the appointed time, even though Haman had planned evil, had planned destruction and wickedness for the Jews. God intervened when Esther called for a fast. And he said, she said, if I perish, I perish. But God did not allow her to perish. Instead, a book of remembrance was opened for the Jews, for Mordecai and Esther. And Mordecai was enthroned in his original position that God had ordained for him. The crown was stolen from him before, but a day like this came that looked ordinary. But by the end of the day, God had transformed the life of Mordecai. God had established his counsel. God had restored him to his original position. And so today I want to encourage you. Maybe you have been oppressed or opposed. All power and authority has been given to you to subdue and to have dominion over your adversaries. And so I pray that whatsoever the enemy has stolen from you, just like the enemy stole from Mordecai, and even planned to destroy him and kill him, but God made that counsel to be nothing. God brought that counsel to nothing. I decree upon your life, every evil counsel of the enemy concerning you, every evil plot, it shall not stand only God's counsel will stand because his grace is sufficient for you. His strength is made perfect in your weakness. Are you feeling weak and tired and discouraged? This word is coming to strengthen you. This word is coming to let you know that what has been stolen from you, your inheritance, your possession is restored and you dispossess your enemies and begin to possess your possession. That is the nugget that we have for today. Remember, Every day might look the same, but every day is not the same. The day Mordecai was restored and his blessing was recovered, it looked like an ordinary day. In fact, Mordecai had given up, but God turned the situation around. I pray for a divine turn around where you have given up. God is going to establish his good counsel according to Jeremiah 29, 11. That his plans for you are not of evil, but of good to give you a hope and a future. That hope and a future is a beautiful end. And it shall be so for you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, just say this quick prayer. Jesus, here I am. I give my heart to you. I believe you died for my sins. Come and dwell in my heart richly. Take over my life. Holy Spirit, be my GPS. Guide me as I continue in this journey. In Jesus' mighty name. I congratulate you if you just made that confession. And I encourage you to look for a Bible-believing church. Dwell on the word of God, not on your circumstance. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Amen. Freely, you have received this word. Freely share with somebody. Amen.